Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the cyanotype set by Mel Chemistry, we will learn how to create a photo print using a chemical reaction. Perform this experiment on the plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the cyanotype experiment, you will need four solutions, citric acid, ammonium iron 3 sulfate, ammonium carbonate, and potassium hexocyanoferrate 3. Take the plexiglass, a measuring spoon, a sheet of watercolor paper, an absorbent, and the negative image from the experiment set. Take a disposable cup from your starter kit. Make sure you have a working table lamp. Also, keep in mind that you'll need to rinse your print with water at the end of the experiment. Conduct this experiment in dim lighting. Avoid bright sun and strong lamps. Remove the protective covering from both sides of the plexiglass. First, prepare your light-sensitive mixture. Measure one big spoon of citric acid solution into a disposable cup. Add one big spoon of ammonium iron sulfate solution. Add one big spoon of ammonium carbonate solution. Lastly, add one big spoon of potassium hexocyanoferrate solution. Mix the contents of the cup by swirling them around. Now, apply the light-sensitive mixture. Take your piece of watercolor paper and position it so that the non-watermarked side is facing up. Dip the absorbent pack in your light-sensitive mixture and use it to apply the mixture evenly across the surface of the paper. Let's start printing our image. Place the negative image on top of the paper. Cover both sheets with the plexiglass. Put your materials under a strong lamp. Leave about 4 inches distance between the lamp and your materials. Wait for 10 minutes. As an alternative, you can put your setup under direct sunlight for 3 minutes. Remove the plexiglass and negative. Clean any excess light-sensitive mixture off the paper by rinsing it thoroughly with water. You've made a beautiful blue and white print. Light initiates a reaction in which the iron-3 ions and ammonium iron-3 citrate receive an electron and turn into iron-2 ions. When these ions react with potassium hexocyanoferrate 3, they form a stable blue compound known as Berlin blue. This causes the cyanotype image to appear. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.